use of rootstock in fruit crops friends as we have seen in the previous semester root uh, this rootstock is very important and we can get this rootstock with the help of the seeds only that is known as a seedling so out of the seedling uh, we can get the rootstock and very important for each and every crop because according to the health and the physiology and the certain characteristics of the rootstock uh, we can have uh, one or the another crop and that have to play in the production and productivity of this orchard so let us see uh, about the use of the rootstock in the fruit crops a grafted or budded plant can produce usual patterns which may be different from what would have occupied if each component part of the graft age for example rootstock and the sign were grown separately or when it is grafted or budded in the other types of the rootstock so uh, if we study about uh, by the uh, this uh, planting individual rootstock as well as sign and a graft of both of these we will have the different yield and the characteristics so it is very important uh, rootstock is very important some of these have major horticultural values this is uh, this very inspect of rootstock in the performance of a cyan cultivar or vice versa is known as the stock cyan relationships now uh, about the stock cyan relationships we have uh, seen very little portion in the previous semester but let us see in detail the effect of stock on the cyan cultivars for example in apple rootstock can be classified as dwarf semi dwarf vigorous and very vigorous rootstock based on their effect on a cyan cultivars if a cyan is grafted on dwarf rootstock uh, the graft combination will be dwarf while this same cultivar grafted on a very uh, very rootstock would grow very vigorously in citrus and uh, trifoliate oranges also it is a example on the other hands in mango all the plants of a given variety are known to have the same characteristics canopy shape of the variety despite the rootstock being of seedling origin but recently rootstock of the uh, kakaradi olur have been found to imp uh, impart dwarfness in the cyan cultivars so this is the effect of the cyan cultivars guava cultivars grafted in the uh, cedium uh, puminum are found to be dwarf in the stature precocity in the flowering and fruiting <coughs> the time taken for planting of the fruiting precocity is influenced by the rootstock generally fruiting is influenced by rootstock and generally fruiting precocity is associated with dwarfing rootstock and slowness to start fruiting with vigorous rootstock in the mandarins when grafted on the jamberi rootstock are preci uh, precious then those grafted on the sweet orange or sour orange or acid lime rootstock fruit set and yield so effect of uh, this on in this uh, on the fruit set as well as in the yield the rootstock directly influence on the production of the flowers and setting of the fruit in the uh, oriental uh, prasinan and different other crops also so uh, sometimes it may be increased or it may be decreased because of the rootstock so this is a effect the influence of the rootstock on the yield performance or the cultivars has been well documented in many of the fruit crops in acid limes budded on the rough lemon register nearly 70% increased yield then those budded on the uh, toyel citrate uh, and, and these are other examples also for so that because of the grafting on the different cultivars uh, of the rootstock or on the uh, this using different sign we can have the uh, difference in the yield it is also having a effect on the fruit size as well as quality uh, satgodi sweet orange grafted on the uh, jamina uh, rootstock produced large but poor quality fruit while on the on its own stock they produced fruit with high juice content and quality so it is having a effect on the size as well as quality of the fruits the physiological disorder uh, that is a granulation in the sweet orange is very low in the grafted of cleopterra mandarins uh, seedlings on the other hand rough lemon seedling rootstock 
induced maximum granulation so granulation is a uh, very much uh, bigger problem in the citrus group uh, of the crops and uh, because of the using different rootstock we can increase or decrease the granulation the physiological disorder there is black and in um, barlet pear did not appear in the uh, pyrus communis was used as the rootstock so by using the different rootstock we can uh, have the uh, effect on the size and quality now nutrient status of the cyan rootstock uh, do influence the nutrient status of the cyan also so whatever the status of the cyan is there we are having this uh, influence on the final crop or you can say after the uh, graft winter hardiness uh, is also affected younger grapefruit trees uh, on the rangpur lime withstand winter injury better than on the rough lemon or the sour on orange sweet orange and mandarins of trifoliate were more cold hardy disease resistance can be also be exploited or you can see increase or decrease because of the varied uh, use of the uh, rootstock and cyan an ability to resist soil uh, resist soil adverse conditions among the citrus rootstock trifoliate orange exhibits poor ability to resist excess soil moisture so sometimes because uh, of this rootstock uh, sometimes some deficiencies uh, or more toxic effect or uh, this drought tolerance everything can be affected by this uh, rootstock now effect of cyan on the roots uh, rootstock so we are having as as i told you vice versa effect is there on this uh, stock and cyan now effect on root system of the stock in apple it has been found that if apple seedling were budded with the red estrocham apple the rootstock produced a very fiber root system with few tap roots so when we are having a different cyan for the same rootstock then the fibrous root system or we can say root system can be affected either positively or negatively according to the characteristics of the cyan uh, cold hardiness of the rootstock can uh, in the citrus roots is affected by the cyan cultivars uh, similarly like in the root system we are having the different in the cold hardiness of the stock because of the use of the different cyan age of the rootstock seedling young mango rootstock seedling that is 6 months to 1 year old were found to put forth inflorescence when the branches from old trees are enlarged which will be attributed to the influence of the cyan on the stock incompatibility certain rootstock and cyan are incompatible therefore the graft union between these two will not normally uh, take place so we have to take care of uh, this and kind of the plant some some species like oats are difficult to graft but apple and pear are very easy in uh, predicting their successful graft union so we have to take care of this uh, compatibility as well as the kind of the plant that we which crop which plant we are using environmental factors during the following grafting mm, there are certain environmental factors or the requirements which must be met for the callus tissue formation to develop the healing uh, of this graft union first one is temperature temperature has a pronounced effect on the production of the callus tissues as callus is known to you that it is a uh, mass of undifferentiated uh, cells tissues an optimum temperature as essential for the production of the callus tissues in most of the temperature temperate fruits uh, callus formation production is retarded after the 100 fahrenheit relative humidity must be higher or maintaining a film of water against the callusing surface is essential to prevent these uh, delicate thin walled parenchymatous uh, cells from drying and presence of the high oxygen content near the surface is essential so this temperature relative humidity and oxygen content uh, near this cut surface is very essential and we have to take care of this so that we can get the maximum success in this grafting growth activity of the stock plants some propagation methods such as 
tea budding and bark grafting depend upon the bark piping which means the cambial cells activity dividing the producing young thin walled cells on the side of the cambium these newly formed cells separating readily from one another as the uh, book slips propagation techniques sometimes the techniques used in the grafting is so poor that only a small portion of the callus uh, region regions of the stalk and the cyan are brought together this measurement in its failure of the graft union so maximum intimate contact or you can say maximum matrix should be there for the graft and i mean this stalk and cyan union now very important topic that is high density planting hdp uh, it is a innovative technology or you can say new technology uh, to adapt in the food crops hdp is one of the technology to yield per unit area so we are not increasing the yield uh, i mean total yield but per, per per unit area we can increase the yield so we can say increase the productivity of that area of that crop hdp can be defined as the planting fruit trees at a density in excess of that which suffices uh, to give maximum crop yield at maturity if individual trees grow Uh, to its full normal size in other words it is planting at a closer spacing to accommodate more number of the plants per unit area the concept of hdp that is high density planting has drawn considerable attention of the fruit growers all over the world because of its lot of benefits the technology of uh, for hdp is based on the principle of maximum utilization of the solar energy and other natural resources per unit area now which are the benefits of this hdp so we are having this benefits maximum utilization of the land and space high nutrient and water use efficiency we can have because of hdp and higher interception of the solar radiation uh, can be gained because of the hdp and higher efficiency of the fung- fungicidal and uh, pesticidal spray due to greater degree of spray uh, interception effective control of the weed growth and allows mechanization of the fruit crops uh, or we can say fruit production so these are the benefits of hdp now high density planting orchard is already having a success story in fruit crops like apple banana pineapple and mango now you can see in the first row that is mango apple kinno banana and pineapple and uh, traditional spacing is 10 by 10 or 7.5 by 7.5 whatever is there and in the similarly in the hdp if we are having this spacing of 2.5 by 2.5 meter in mango then in the traditional spacing we can have the tons per yield uh, the per tons per uh, hectare yield is 7.5 but in this similar area if we are having 2.5 by 2.5 spacing then in the hdp of this uh, mango we can have the yield of 19.2 tons per hectare area so it is a very attractive figure and uh, uh, it will be very much economical for the farmers also because of this hdp now which are the methods of the hdp the only way to increase the plant density in an orchard is by planting at a closer spacing but the limit of closeness depends on the plant growth habit which in turn is determined determined by the complex of integration of the factors like cultivars management level soil status and economic considerations so all these factors we have to keep in mind during uh, adoption of this new technology hdp can be achieved by controlling the size of the tree and another is improved planting system so, so these are the only two ways uh, by controlling the size of the tree and by improving planting system we can adopt this method now how we can control the size the size of the tree can be controlled by following methods so first one is planting of the genetically dwarf varieties like amrapali in mango pusa nanha in papaya uh, dwarf cavendish in banana and pkm1 in sapota so these are the very much important examples as far as uh, uh, future is concerned or sometimes in, in the interviews or in the examinations also this type of questions will be there use of the dwarf fruit stock like m9 m27 for apple char bear for this jezifus uh, uh karna katta for kinno mandarin so these are the examples for the dwarfing rootstock first one for was for the genetically dwarf and these are the dwarfing rootstock use of the growth retardants chemicals like amo 1618 ccc that is cycocell uh, and peclobutazol these are the examples for the 
bringing the dwarfness in this uh, retard or you can say dwarf, uh, retardedness in this retarding the growth of the plant in mango particularly pruning to remove the apical portion which results in a compact and bushy tree uh, through the stimulation of the lateral bud growth this has been successfully done in the grape apple and mango so by removing the branches or sometimes apical portion of this uh, plant we can have the bushy nest and finally we can have the dwarf um, uh, stature of the plant various training systems like spindle bush dwarf pyramid uh, aspelacer has been proved to be effective for the hdp of apple and other temperate fruit crops controlling the root growth for reducing the vegetative growth for example in peach and use of the viral infection in crops like citrus and apple so by using that we can uh, minimize the size of the plant and another is improved improved planting system the various planting systems adopted in the fruit crops are square triangular quincunx uh, rectangular hexagonal uh, head grow and cluster planting is known to you out of this triangular and square system are followed for hdp of mango uh, kinno banana papaya and hedge row for apple and pineapple now which are the constraints so uh, this will be improve planting system and size of the plant can be controlled by various methods so by using mechanical chemical or sometimes genetical ways but there are certain constraints by for the adoption of this technology there the higher incidence of the some disease like leaf spot and fingertip in, of banana is found in this hdp so because of the dense plantation uh, it is very difficult to control this type of disease poor quality of the fruits uh, for example skin color in the apple because sunlight or the inception of the sunlight is not possible up to the end of the uh, up to the end leaf we can say so because of the lack of this sunlight in certain portion of the plant we can uh, have this uh, poor quality of the fruits in the color all, color only higher initial cost of the orchard establishment is uh, really con- uh, a more uh, constant for the farmer because in the initial phase we have to uh, invest a lot of money which is not possible for each and every farmer lower longevity of the plant because we are using lot of chemicals sometimes uh, this mechanical con- um, methods like this pruning and training so we are damaging the plant finally we can say and because of that only we are having a low uh, longevity or we can say less life of the plants so friend this is all about this hdp and this uh, effect of stock and sign on each other thank you